Cancer of the esophagus is like many other types of cancer. It's often curable if caught early. Treatment for esophagus cancer, even in the early stage, has traditionally been surgery, removal of the entire esophagus. But now doctors at Mayo Clinic are using minimally invasive endoscopies to treat early cancers. Patients have the procedure and go home the very same day. Lee Porter knows that his favorite chocolate candies can send him running for the antacids if he eats them at the wrong time. Chocolate is really bad on your heartburn if you eat it before you go to bed. Years and years of chronic acid reflux not only caused pain, but it may have also caused esophageal cancer. And until recently, that meant major surgery, removal of the entire esophagus, and the creation of a new one by attaching the stomach to the throat. What's really changed dramatically in the last few years is the development of ways to treat these early cancers through endoscopic procedures without surgery, without making incisions, really through a flexible fiber optic endoscope. During the procedure, Dr. Michael Wallace lowers an endoscope into the esophagus to the site of the cancer. The lower end of the esophagus, we see this irregular tissue here, these little lumps and bumps. And this is actually the very early form of esophageal cancer. The scope is equipped with technology that can remove the cancer and leave healthy tissue behind. To Lee Porter, this option definitely beats the alternative. Oh my goodness gracious, uh, there's no comparison uh, to have your whole esophagus um, removed. Just a few days after Lee's procedure, he was back to normal, able to eat pretty much anything, including chocolate candy. I probably shouldn't be eating as much as I do, but it's good. Lee Porter has follow-up endoscopies every few months to be sure he remains cancer-free. He also continues to take medication for acid reflux. And again, this procedure is only for early-stage cancers. Patients who have more advanced disease will likely have to undergo surgery and perhaps chemotherapy and radiation. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.